happy doer, it's Heather Patterson back for another week of Happier at Work. Thank you so much for tuning in. This week I have something a little different planned and I need to give you some fair warning. I am about to use some adult language. So if you have little bitty ears nearby, my suggestion to you is to use some headphones, find a different room, or maybe save this video for later. You've been warned. Last week, if you caught the video, we talked about working with difficult people. But there's a whole nother level of difficult that we need to talk about. The asshole. Yep, I said it. The asshole at work. I can't sugarcoat it. I can't make it soft. The unfortunate reality is that you work with an asshole. And if you're lucky enough not to, then someone you know, yeah, they work with an asshole. You might be wondering, well, what is the difference between a difficult person and this asshole? Let me tell you. The difficult person that I was mentioning last week is someone who might be going through a difficult time or who is difficult on occasion, maybe under certain circumstances or certain days of the week, that sort of thing. But a bona fide certified a-hole, well, they're just a jerk all the time. Insulting, intimidating, manipulation, sarcasm, purposely slow down work. They're an asshole. They can regularly be counted on to behave this way. That is the difference between a difficult person and an a-hole. Before we get too far down the road and start pointing our fingers at everybody else, it's really important that we are clear that we, including me, we have all been an asshole at work and we are all still capable of being assholes at work. The first tip I have is to check yourself. Make sure that you are not the asshole at work, first and foremost. Say you have identified the asshole and it's not you, congratulations. <laughs> what do you do? Your options sort of depend on your authority and decision-making abilities in your workplace. I'm going to assume that you have some leadership authority influence at work. My suggestion to you is to get rid of them, fire them, get them out of your organization. You need to move quickly. Once you realize that they are the asshole, move quickly with this and get them out of there. It does take some time and observation to make sure that this isn't just a one-off instance, but once it's been identified, you gotta move fast. The asshole is a major liability to your happiness, employee happiness, and it's a whole slew of legal liability to concern yourself with as well. Get them out of there. I know, sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes you have a big project to complete. Fire them anyway. Sometimes you have a whole slew of red tape to work your way through and it's a total pain in the you know what work through the red tape, get them out of there. Sometimes you have a personal relationship with this asshole. Hmm. Well, I don't care, get them out of there. They are a liability. You can see my recommendation on getting the asshole out of your organization, it really doesn't matter what your circumstances and your but whatever whatever it doesn't matter get them out of there you hoping and wishing that this would just get better or playing hot potato with this asshole is not going to be helpful to you or anybody else including your customers the people that are buying your product or service once you've gotten the asshole out of there you can't just stop and start cruising along into the, your everyday business what you need to do is pause and reflect and consider okay how did this happen in the first place and how can we prevent this from happening again? Make sure that you don't make the same mistake twice. Firm up your hiring and screening practices. Firm up your observation practices and make sure that you have ways to easily remove someone from your organization who threatens your culture like that. I wish that I would have 
come up with this very clever and striking way to get you to realize that assholes are an issue at work, but I can't. This video was inspired by one of my favorite books, The No Asshole Rule by Dr. Robert Sutton. The No Asshole Rule, Robert Sutton. It's gonna be a little hard. A little hard to see that there. This is an excellent read and just a wonderful confirmation that regardless of how talented or skilled someone is, when they're an asshole, they don't belong in your organization. So get them out. Adopt the no asshole rule and continue to refine and refine and refine as you move about your business. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for sticking it out with me today and listening to my potty mouth. I promise it will not be a regular thing. Don't forget to subscribe and share this message with a family member, friend, or coworker who might need to adopt this rule too. Thanks so much and I will see you next time.